Before proceeding, please make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell icon for upcoming videos. Hey everyone, in this video we will talk about tooth morphology of maxillary lateral incisors. Since tooth morphology of maxillary centrals and laterals are almost the same with only a significant difference, therefore for an even clear understanding it's really important for you to refer to my videos on introduction to dental terminologies and morphology of maxillary central incisors. The link for the videos I've mentioned are given in the description and comment section of this video. So let's begin. The maxillary lateral incisor is the second tooth from the midline in each quadrant of the upper arch. We have got two lateral incisors in the upper arch and two in the lower arch. The focus of today's video will be the maxillary lateral incisor. Generally, the lateral incisor almost resembles the maxillary central incisors in all aspects, except for the root length being roughly the same and the tooth being more convex in all surfaces. Maxillary lateral incisor erupts at about the age of 8 to 9 years and its root is completed at about the age of 11 years. The tooth displays greater variations in its structure as compared to any other permanent tooth, except for the third molars. If we look at some variations, the lingual aspect of the tooth at its incisal portion may possess a tubercle. Or there may be a lack of development in its mesial and distal portions, causing a structural alteration in the tooth and the tooth generally has a pointed outline incisally and are called peg laterals. And for some, the tooth may be congenitally missed such that its tooth buds do not form at all. The lateral incisor, just like any other anterior teeth, has got four surfaces and an incisal edge. The surfaces are the labial or the facial surface, the lingual surface and the mesial and distal surfaces. Let's discuss each surface in some detail and in comparison with the maxillary central incisor. From the labial surface, four outlines can be seen and are named the mesial, distal, incisal and cervical outlines. The mesial outline almost resembles the mesial outline of maxillary central incisor but is comparatively more convex and has a more rounded mesioincisal angle. The distal outline is always more rounded when compared with the distal outline of the maxillary central incisors. The distal incisal angle is noticeably more rounded than its central incisor counterpart. In fact, it's the most rounded incisal angle of any incisor in either arch. The incisal outline resembles the central incisor but is not so straight like incisal edge of the central incisor. And this is because of the greater rounding the tooth has got at the mesioincisal and mostly at the distoincisal angles. The cervical outline curves in an apical direction with slightly less depth of curvature than in the central incisor. From the lingual surface, the tooth has got a convexity at the cervical third called the cingulum and a central fossa. The central fossa is bounded through mesial and distal marginal ridges. The cingulum is slightly more convex and the lingual fossa is deeper when compared with the central incisor. The mesial and distal marginal ridges are more pronounced. From the lingual aspect, a very common finding which we can observe in a maxillary lateral incisor but not in the central incisor is the lingual gingival groove, a lingual pit which is at the center of these grooves and sometimes a lingual gingival fissure. The groove runs in a vertical direction whereas the fissure runs in almost a horizontal direction. The lingual pit is a small depression from which originates the lingual gingival groove and this pit is a great site for accumulation of food particles, eventually leading to tooth decay or caries. The mesial surface of the maxillary lateral incisor is similar to the mesial surface of maxillary central incisor. 
except for the cervical line showing comparatively less depth of curvature when compared with maxillary centrals. The distal surface is smaller and more convex in all dimensions than the mesial surface. The cervical line shows less depth of curvature when compared with the mesial surface of the tooth. Now coming to the incisal view, all maxillary lateral incisors exhibit more convexity labially and lingually than do the maxillary central incisors. The tooth has got a single root which is wider labiolingually and narrower mesiodistally. The root length is not equal to the crown length as in maxillary central incisors and is longer in relation to the crown length. The apex is relatively sharper than that of the central incisor and it may be deflected distally at the apical third. I hope this video helped. If you think this video was really helpful, please do like, subscribe and share the video with friends. If you have got any questions or suggestions, you may write them down in the comment box. Thank you for watching.